What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Marky. We're here with another video with within the um, series that I'm going to be showing you of my custom builds. I just I'm going to be doing Yorick first, and then and then next I will do another video today. It'll be a video of the same series, and it'll be Caitlyn for the next one. But now it's size for Yorick. So we are actually going to go. I'm actually going to go top. Um, Maggie is here with me. Um, I want to say hi, I guess. Hi. So standard, my rune page for Warwick, my main, my my um, mastery page for Yorick. I mean, I I got the I got grasp of the undying, and then basically the other page is the spell is the spell vamp and life steal. The the bounty hunter and fresh blood because one I want to be able to do that extra day. You uh, if you're going to be using my Yorick build, this that mastery page is key. You need grasp of the undying because you want to be because if you're low as hell and you say the enemy team is all on you and you're low as hell, you got like thirty percent of your health, but the entire team they got like two or three people on you. The grasp of the undying plus the life steal mastery plus the fresh blood is going to be able to have you deal a significant amount of damage to one target for the first hit. And then just burst that guy down, and then go to the next target, deal a significant amount of damage, and get the healing back from, and get the slight healing from the grasp of the undying when it procs, as well as the life steal boost because you're not actually building life steal. You, you, I don't actually you or I and I don't, but I don't think anybody else legitimately builds life steal on Yurik because, I mean, I guess you could build life steal on Yurik. I mean, I don't think it would necessarily work. But I mean, I guess you could build life steal on him. Um, I really don't think it'd be viable, but I, I guess you could. I mean, I guess you could build life steal Yorick on Yorick. But I mean, like literally, as far as I can see, the only legitimate life steal item that you could even build on Yorick would probably be, I don't know, maybe Ravenous Hydra if you want to go the blood, if you want to go the uh, the life steal route. I'd say Ravenous Hydra. But I mean. Life steal on York really isn't that great, but with but um the life steal vamp the life the vampirism with the life steal and the spell vamp is actually good because it gives him some life steal off of his attacks, but it's not like it's not overpowering life steal so that his entire build is life steal. So he just literally just goes in one shot somebody and that's completely unkillable. See with York, he's already tanky enough as is with the grasp of the undying mastery. He's already tanky, so. You actually don't even need to build life steal on him because he's actually already tanky enough to go in, smack somebody, get the proc on grasp of the undying, probably trap him if his W's up, smack him with his Q, and it's still dead. If they're still not dead and he's got ghouls around him, literally just E and peace out, and the ghouls will take care of it. You really, other than that, that's I mean literally all you have to know. But I mean, you guys will see how you guys will see how I play Yorick and how I build him in this video. Um. I, like I said, the last time, the very first one, that first one, I got deep into what I was building. But for the rest of these, I will be going, I will be building my stuff and then towards the end, before we end it, I will, I will say my build and why each, why each, why I built each item. We see you, Yorick. We know your weakness. We you know nothing. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Okay, so, so this is bots. I believe I am going to try to do the first one troll. But only because to it's most, bots. Life is fleeting. To me, it is quagmire. Minions has spawned. Delay 
the end. The ruins eyes shall fall with his first blood. <laughs> I only did that because it's called the bots, it's not PvP, but I actually used this build that I'm gonna show you. I actually used this build in PvP and actually do legitimately decent with Yorick. Too dirty. To the point where I can freaking 3v1 and get a triple kill. 2v1 and get a double kill. But I've never actually tried 4v1 to see if I can get a quadra. See if I can get a quadra. But I mean, I I wouldn't doubt that you could. Isles remember. Swap my swap heal for teleport, so I actually will be using heal on him. I'm not 100 sure how heal is viable on Yarick, but I guess that's what I'm using because I forgot to swap. Okay, so you're gonna notice something I did start with Doran's shield. Uh, the new Doran's shield is pretty pretty damn broken right now honestly and it it is actually a viable adc starting item now if you're a little bit cautious and you're landing and you don't want to get your ass handed to you like almost instantly doran's shield actually works for adcs now but i actually i use it on glory as my start item instead of getting the corrupting potion i actually don't even touch the corrupting potion in the first place I just don't think. Fade. I mean, I, I I like it on your end, but I just don't think it works. All too great. <laughs>
first couple items I build on Yorick are pretty standard, actually. I'm just gonna roll mid here and take, the, take out this Simmer, because our Annie is not doing so hot against it against the sever so I mean I'm just gonna help her I'm just gonna help out I'm just gonna help out our Annie here and I'm gonna kill I'm gonna get her to kill on the sever or at least very low at least to kill the sever myself looks like I'm just gonna kill the sever Item, again, pretty standard. Pretty first couple item, pretty standard Yorick. I mean, but then my third item is where it starts getting where it starts getting a little bit buggy and weird. Because if you don't know this about me, all of my build, every single one of my builds is situational, depending on the enemy team comp. So sometimes I'll get sometimes I'll get a few tanky items on him on Yorick. Sometimes I'll just go full AD. It just depends on the team comp and how well I'm doing. Two, two, versus yeah. what does my team need versus the enemy? Versus the enemy. What does my team need? Where are my team's strong points? Where are my fail points? But, um, yeah, basically, once you get level 6 on Yorick, your pushing power is, like, really, really good. You can just basically solo push an entire lane all by yourself. You literally just pop the maiden under the turret. You go in, you let your minions go in with you, and then you literally just smack the shit out of the turret until it dies, because the maiden will just stand by you. Um, yeah, so... It's pretty easy. It's worse than this you just push. Just, just push lanes all day. That's what you do. That's what Doric does. He just pushes your lanes and legitimately when he gets his first couple of items because he's essentially just a tanky monster that is can literally just destroy you and all you can do is sit there and take the punishment. Especially once he gets Trinity Force, his attack speed isn't that great of that in general. But once he gets Trinity Force, he's got enough health and damage to so literally just come oh, back in the lane and just wreck you. And most of the time, unless you're building tanky to counter him, 
He's basically just going to do whatever he wants and get rid of the stamina and just take it. If they could see what I see, they would be Shit out of their turrets like this, do absolutely nothing. Because it's a boss, they're like, man, I'm not gonna stop you because I'm only, it's 1v2 and Shut I'm down. gonna be taking forward. of my order. Another good thing is to go for the Rift Herald. Um, hey, uh, sis, you want to come out for the Rift Herald? That's another good thing about Yorick. When you've got your ult up and you've got that Trinity Force and a couple of start items for your for, for your next item with your boost, you can literally pretty much just solo pick up, just pop the maiden, let the maiden and the ghouls tag you for you, and just literally just I guess just wreck it. Okay, so my next item on Yorick is usually situational. 
Because I said it starts to get a little bit weird. But I actually, I'm gonna go frozen mallet here. I'll get into, like I said before, I'll get into, I'll get into why later on. But um, at the, towards the end of the video, I'll get into why. Except Baron. He, I mean, he can two-man Baron with, with the jungler. Like, the jungler comes around, Yorick can actually two-man the jungler. Two-man the Baron with the jungler. Because 
lives, he just literally pops the maiden. The maiden in his ghoul tank will mirror for the jungler. So the jungler can literally just focus on spinning. Yorick just cues it and ease it to keep the minions aggro keep the minions aggroed onto the Baron. Remember he, my and then it just from there it's just GG Baron. In fact, here, here's a good example. Sis, come with me. Uh, Sis, come with me. Okay. I'm not sure if you can actually do it now, but I'm going to show you. Watch. ways or two or three of them I'm gonna highlight because they're my favorites um Titanic Hydra Rush is one Trinity Force Rush is one which I did Trinity Force Rush in this then your next if you go for Trinity Force Rush obviously you want to get the spirit you want to you if you're gonna go for the tanky route you want to either get spirit size or ZZ route portal I prefer ZZ route portal because it's a little bit of, I mean, honestly, it's a little bit of extra pushing power. I mean, you know, because because why not, right? You want that pushing power. You want to be able to just go into somebody's lane and be like, hey, fuck your turret. It's this turret's dead. Get out of here. You can't touch me. That's what that's for. You prop that in the nearest bush to the turret that you're fighting. And it literally, you sh your, void, your little voidling, your little voidling creature, bah, whatever fucking you call those things that come out of the ZZ Rock. Just go in, they explode on the turret, deal some deal a decent chunk of damage to it. And if you run out of minions, just and you haven't used the maiden yet, just pop the maiden. Just go into the bush, pop the maiden if the turret's low, have the maiden tag the turret for you, and just take the turret down and just continue to push. It, it's that simple. So Trinity Force Core, in my opinion, is honestly a, for my build, and probably for pretty much everybody who built who plays Yorick's build. Core item, I'd have to say, would be Trinity Force. Um, then, pending on for me, always pending on team. My oh, my build always changes, as I said. So for this team, for this team comp, I went the Merc Treads, which is what I usually go on York, regardless of the enemy team comp. I use still Mercs because it's they're they're, they're broken on Yorick. Because you pretty much just can't CC him. 
for a really long ass time because he's just the CC the rate the CC um, basically almost near nullified by the effect of the boots. Uh, I went frozen mallet because I had a lot of um, had a lot of people who could who could tight me and. Yorick honestly doesn't move very fast, but if you can get a few auto attacks up on somebody before they before they ultimately escape, Frozen Mallet is good because it's every each of your auto attacks will slow. And then Titanic Hydra, just because I mean health regen, so I mean because why not? And then my last item, I usually sell my do I usually sell my Doran Shield and upgrade it to uh, a Guardian's Angel. So that's my Yorick build. Um, I said before, as I said before, if you want to try my build out in PvP, I actually do use this build in PvP with Yorick. I actually PvP with Yorick and I use this build. Um, I actually might be doing a ranked series on this account or another account that I'm going to make that I will have Yorick on. I actually might do a PvP thing. I actually might do a PvP rank PvP climb from bronze to probably probably like hot low like low end gold because I'm just kinda of just my first season queuing PvP on my own. I'm stuck in bronze on this account so I can't really do anything there. But um if you guys want to see me climb out of bronze on this account then I will try with your top and Caitlin ADC. By the way, again, that's the next video that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a build video for her. So I will see you in the next video. As I said before, drop a like. Otherwise, I always say drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And yeah. And if you want to try this build, let me know if you try it. Is it good or is it bad? Marky, your build sucks or Marky, your build is awesome. And yeah. No buy from uh, my sister here, but okay, fine.